Hey guys, it's time to learn about composite figures and how to find the areas within them. A composite figure is a shape that can be divided into more than one basic figure. So take for example a shape like this one. Notice that this shape can actually be seen as a combination of a triangle, a rectangle, and another triangle. If we get the areas of all three shapes and add these areas together, then we should be able to get the total area of this composite figure. Here are the following dimensions. The triangle here has a base of 8 meters, and the height is conveniently given to us as 6 meters. Now, we know that the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, so if we plug these numbers in, we would get 8 times 6 divided by 2, which is 24 meters squared. Now, first of all, we know that this shape in here is a rectangle, since a rectangle has exactly four right angles, which we can identify by these boxes here. So all we have to do to find the area of this rectangle is to multiply length times width, which would be six meters times 10 meters, giving us 60 meters squared. Lastly, we have this triangle here. It has a base of 2 meters, and the height is not written here. But since this triangle's height is made up of the rectangle we see here, and we know that the opposite sides of a rectangle are always the same in length, we know for a fact that this line here is in fact 6 meters. So using the area of a triangle formula, we plug in the base and height. We get 6 times 2 divided by 2, which equals 6 meters square. All that's left now is to add up all three areas that we calculated separately. What we get is 24 meters squared plus 60 meters squared plus 6 meters squared, which equals 90 meters squared. Great, so finding the area of a composite shape is not that difficult. We just need to know exactly how to get the area of the simple shapes, and then calculate the addition of each of the shape's areas to arrive upon the final area of the composite figure. So that's it for this lesson. Make sure to practice some questions, and we will see you in the next one.